hello everybody and welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to do a get ready with me um i hope the setup is okay with you guys and everything yeah um so this is going to be like a get ready with me um and also my march favorites that i've been like digging for a while like yeah like my holy grails um if you all seen like my previous videos nothing really changed um i pretty much used the same things i did recently get a new um a new foundation and the foundation that um that I, I pretty i like it like it's really good like it fits my skin tone perfectly and everything like that so um this is the matte poreless um from uh, maybelline fit me and this is in the color 330 toffee caramel and like this is really good um you guys can see it but um yeah so i've been using this maybe for like the last couple times I've been doing my makeup, so maybe about three times. So I really like it yeah, so far. Nothing really, you know, is bad about it. But today I'm gonna stick with my NARS. This is the same jar. This is the same, like, this is my favorite. But like I said, the Maybelline Fit Me one, it's um pretty good to me, but I'm gonna use this one because this is my favorite. So the first thing I want to show you guys is um, what I wash my face with today. So I, my face is like really like I have dry skin on my face, and I haven't really found like a face wash or anything like that to help with my dryness. Um, I use what is that stuff called? I forgot the name of it, but it helps like get my makeup off and everything. But I noticed that it does leave my face dry. Um, so I needed something to not only like when I clean my face, remove my makeup or excess dirt, but also, uh, you know, get it into like a deep clean and also doesn't leave my face so dry. Um, so I came across this Noxzema stuff. It's a really old fashioned type of wash. Um, I remember when I was younger, um, going to my grandma's house that my aunt, she always, like, every time I walk into a room, I smelled the scent. Like I smelled it. It's just so, it, it feels like, well, it smells like, like it smells like, um, um, what do you put under your nose when like your nose is stuffy? It smells like Vicks. That's what it smells like. So, um, this is really good oh my goodness like i've been loving this thing i wash my face what i use for my lotion now i also had the same problem with lotion like it will you know um, i do use vaseline sometimes but uh i haven't just been feeling vaseline especially because it's getting warmer out and i don't want my face to feel like hot and then if i put makeup on i don't want to pack makeup on top of vaseline and you all know that vaseline is thick so um i came across this lotion uh lou lubridum lubridum i don't know advanced therapy lotion intensive intensely hydrates extra dry skin and this right here been doing my face just this you hear me so i'm going to go ahead and place this i broke the top but place this on my right over my face and today um this look is going to be just be really simple like an everyday makeup look that I would do if I'm going to class or something. Um, nothing too extra. No shadow. Nothing. Just pure. Whatever. Easy breezy. But today I'm just going to talk about. Um, what I'm going to talk about. Anything. Anything that comes to mind. I'm just going to rap about. Um, I just want to thank you guys so much for everything. The, you know. Comments and the likes and. You know, um, the best comments that I get is when you all um, not only, you know, expresses how, like, you're, like, especially when it comes to my braces vlogs, and that you all are not nervous, any, like, not nervous to get your braces. You are very confident. And that's my goal. Like, like I said in one of my um, old videos, how, like, I used to get teased a lot by my braces. This is going to be hard. Um, all right, so... The first thing I'm going to do is going to use my, I mean, is do my eyebrows. Um, I've been using this, but I think this is the Kiss um, New York 
cream chocolate in the color chocolate and I've been using this for a while if you go check out my old videos I think I've used this a couple times before I do that let me do this brush 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 and don't mind my hair y'all it's not like four big twists um I put some oil coconut oil in it last night and you know put my scarf on so it can like soak all up in there but um yeah so the purpose of my um braces vlog is to inspire and encourage those you know you guys that's you know been really like insecure about your teeth or you're insecure about getting braces period you know because i was once in that place i was once in that position where i felt like yo my teeth is jacked up like i need some i don't you know it's ja it's not jacked up but it wasn't i wasn't comfortable because i was getting teased and um but like i said throughout all of that i was still able to smile because that was just who i was and i wasn't going to change because you know i've been talked about so with that th with that being said i just went on here and got braces i wasn't really scared to really get braces i mean everybody's nervous about something that's going to change their appearance but at the end of the day, like I wasn't like nervous, I wasn't upset that I had to get braces. Um, if I wanted my teeth done, well, teeth to get fixed, you know, I knew that I had to get braces and I have no choice. But I think that now, like, I love my braces. And of course, I'm excited to get them off soon. Um, I don't really know how long I have, but I just know it's like I'm coming to like the end. And I'm excited to see my new teeth without braces. You know, just believe in yourself. Just, you know, look in the mirror every day and just tell yourself you're beautiful, you know, in all the ways that you can possibly be. So, um, yeah. I wish I did a, like a Q&A, but I didn't. Um... I tried one time, but I didn't get all the um, cooperation that I wanted from you guys, but it's all good. So, this is so hard, like, my nose is itching. But anyway, so let me tell you about college life so far. College life is okay. It's pretty good. I can't really, you know, complain. Um, it's just so weird being around people who are like younger than you um, Which is that okay because sometimes age doesn't matter when it comes to friendships or relationships um, you know as long as they are um, Mature enough for your environment then you should be a-okay and um so the people that I do hang around with here are pretty cool and I um, enjoy their company, they're positive and that's all that matters like I'm all for positivity you guys like I just love being around people who are just open to do new things, who are open to try things, who just open to have like conversations and engage in conversations that you know um, just speak someone like society or speak someone generation or just speak on womanhood you know I just like com conversations like that and um yeah like I just I don't know I like that I really do so the people that I hang around with are like amazing people they you know they're smart intelligent and you know and um yeah my eyebrows look a hot mess, you guys. It's because this is hard to do. Oh, so my spring break went um okay. I didn't really, I didn't vlog at all. Well, I did vlog. I had like little clips, and um I didn't vlog that much because what happened was I planned on vlogging, but my camera died, you guys. I had no battery, like no juice on my camera and um, I was so upset me and my best friend decided to go out DC and just you know explore and instead of us driving we decided to take the train and everything and um, that was a good experience I haven't took the train in like many years and even when like those years out of my whole life like I probably only took the train about 
five to eight times maybe I don't know like, I didn't take it that often so um not saying I didn't know what I was doing or anything like that but it's been a while since I took the train and everything so you guys we made it well we have to walk but <laughs> okay, we, don't we made it we did the train and it was a good experience it was, it was. <laughs> So I'm so upset that my camera is like dead, yo. Yeah. So I don't know how much. We're gonna find, try to find a place. So like yeah, to charge, to charge it. But it's nice to find. It's weird. It is. Weird. <laughs> it is. <laughs> People are like, I know, right? Well, they're not. They're just aggressive like, drivers. I should have worn my gloves. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't try to stay home, guys. Right. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Oh, let me put it in my phone. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I want her to try chopped because she likes salads, and this is like a chipotle for salad bars. So I think it'll be good for her to try. I'm excited. I hope she really likes it. We're just putting it in the directions because. We don't want to do no extra walking because it's freezing out here. So, let's show you around. Well, 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Yeah. You want Georgetown? Yeah. He's, yeah. It's like right over there. Once we get on Georgetown, hit the northwest one. The northwest one? Yeah, the second one. Or is it 13 13? minutes. Like yeah, because I know it's like not far. And once we get on that, that strip, right, I know so that strip. We have to go. Alright, so you have to make a left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Make it for the little man. Oh, oh the battery died. It did? Yeah. Dang. It's okay. Right. Well, I'm gonna find yeah. somebody. Don't. So, yeah. It, it's been a while. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up my eyebrows with my concealer. This is the Pro Concealer. This is a new one. I don't think I showed you guys, but um, yeah, this is in the color uh, Pure Beige. And it's kind of lighter than my last one, so this has been one of my holy grails. Um, so, yeah, and I'm just going to use this little brush here. I don't even know where I got this from. Oh, this is an e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my eyebrows. And you guys, I have not worked out. Oh my goodness. I haven't worked out in like almost a month. And that is not what's up because this year I told myself that I was going to work out. And uh, yeah, I just haven't been working out but i'm gonna definitely get back because i felt really good working out like you feel so good like i really encourage doing something that makes you feel good and but especially something that's you know um putting no harm to the body it's like you know so i definitely encourage that um if you like to just walk walk something that you you like to do walk if you like to jog, jog. It's something that you just like to do, you know? I'm sorry, uh, my nose is just like really itching. Go ahead and brush this out some. Something like that. Go ahead and blend this stuff out. This concealer out. Like so. But you guys, the semester is almost over. Um, it's April and semester um, ends on like the 12th or something like that. And But I'm working this summer and I'm also taking summer courses. And I'm taking summer courses because like right now, if you were to look at my schedule for next semester, like I won't have no life. And like, you know, I like, it's so much like classes that I'm taking. Not so much, but I'm taking biology, um, microbio, and I'm taking um, intro to statistics, uh, site child development, uh, public speaking class, uh, 
what else? Uh, chemistry. Yeah, and that's a lot. So this summer, um, I'll be taking the um, intro to st oh my god, intro to st intro to statistics <laughs> course, and um, what else? Intro to statistics, and hopefully that psych class. But um, classes, cause you know in summertime, if you have like financial aid or anything like that, they don't cover it. Like, you have to pay out of pocket when it comes to summer courses. And, like, this, those two classes is, like, pretty much $1,000. So, I was able to pay. I already paid for my math class. Um, and I already paid for my math course. And hopefully, I'll be able to, you know, um, pay for my psych class. But it's no joke, ladies and gentlemen. Like, it's not cheap at all so next I'm going to be using my NARS foundation and my beauty blender but as you can see I have not washed my beauty blender um yet before I use it but I'm going to show you all one of my holy grails that I have been using uh to remove this makeup from my beauty blender and this is the face secrets um makeup remover um I got this from Sally's I believe and it wasn't that expensive and this has been cleaning my foundation out perfectly so if you have a chance go to your I'm sure I don't know who will get who had this maybe of course I know like Ulta and everybody has their own type of brand of uh, makeup remover but I got this one from Sally's and like I said it wasn't that expensive and this is what it looks like is this a face secret my beauty bander looks like now it still got a little bit of um this it looks like now so i'm going to go ahead and pop my makeup oh first thing though you guys so i have this nyx um matte finish spray and um normally i spray this after i do my makeup but lately i have been spraying it before i do my makeup and before it gets like really really dry i apply my foundation and for some reason like i've been digging that look so i'm going to go ahead and spray my face and then apply my foundation so let me do that so i'm just going to let it dry like so i just do like a little pumps like that not too much i might need more but and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over right here. So yeah, but well, um yeah, so college has been okay. Um I don't party, um I don't go to clubs. I'd rather go to a bar or a restaurant bar <laughs> before I enter a club. So, um, yeah, that's one thing about me. Some people may think I'm boring, but I'm not. I just don't like that type of environment, I would say. I don't like, like, a lot of uh, being around, like, a lot of people. Especially, like, you, you know, like, not a lot of people, but things that I like to observe and when there's a lot going on I can't like focus on I don't like that I don't like being in the place where it's like too much going on I gotta watch out for everything like I don't know I'm just that type of person like I don't get me wrong I like to go out I like to go like dancing I like to just I like to do fun things like you know do I notice like I don't really hang around a lot of people not I'm not saying it because I don't like like I don't have a lot of friends well I don't have a lot of friends <laughs> and it's not because like I mean I just like I don't like a lot of I don't like a lot of people guys like I just don't I have my selective few of people that I hang out with and that's fine with me like I don't like to be in the in group I don't like to be and if you are like that that's totally fine all I can say is that's just more people that you have to want to trust there's one people that you have to question about loyalty that's just too much it's too much for me like you know if you have about three you know your little triangle or your little square but octagons and all that nah miss me with that can't mm -mm. so i will only hang around with like 
select a few you know what i'm saying like everybody is sneaky people just sneaky but all i can say is you do have to give people opportunities you have you do have to give people chances of uh, being you know what I'm saying able to uh gain that trust gain you know all of that good stuff so you know you do have to do that you can't just knock people out and but the thing about it is i just don't give people that that type of chance i mean yeah i don't know okay i'm going to go back with that concealer and i'm going to go ahead and just um conceal my under eye so you know yeah by kayla is my road dog that's my homie that's my shorty like that's my girl you know and if i got her i'm straight you know and then like i said here at school you know i have cool gals Cool girls that I, you know, hang with and guys that I'm cool with, you know, but other than that, you won't see me. <laughs> now I'm just going to take um, another concealer, but this is in the color Toast and it's, of course, darkened in my skin tone. I probably need to get a little, uh, it's a, like a lighter one. This might be too dark for me, but I use it anyway, so, and I make it work. And I'm going to apply that to, um, go ahead and that, that, yeah, that, okay, really good. So, yeah, but that's one thing about me, you guys. I don't, no, I don't do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. Like I said, just be careful who you call your friend. You know, like, it's okay to call someone your associates. I don't think that's an issue, you know? Not at all, like... Oh, this is um, Face Secrets Duo Shadow Brush, but I just use it for my nose. And then I use the um, Real Technique uh, Contour Brush for my contour. And so, like, yeah, you know, I don't think that it's okay to have friends. It's okay to hang around, you know, people, but just be careful. I'm going to make sure that, um, yeah. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm not gonna let it bake I don't like to let it bake because it just makes my face a little I don't know I don't like it so I'm just gonna put it on here and then um, wipe it off uh -oh. just like that Let's talk about dating. <laughs> Alright, am I dating? Am I dating? <laughs> I'm not talking about me here. We're just going to talk about the general subject dating. One day I'll spill the teas. But um, we're just going to talk about the overall subject of dating. Um, I believe that there is someone out there for each and every one of us but i believe that it's in your heart to want to find that person um to want to you know um to allow yourself as an individual to be prepared for a relationship um i just got happy sorry but um yeah i think that dating is there's nothing wrong with dating i think that you know it's always it's, it's always someone out there for everybody and you just have to know sometimes you have to go through other relationships to find the, the right person that you want and um doing those relationships like your past relationships i feel as though like um i feel as though they're all lesson learned. Like you learn about yourself 
and you learn about who, what type of man do you want in your life and um sometimes a relationship can feel like it is every relationship when you first start a relationship you will always think like you know oh he's the perfect one and we're gonna last forever and that's where we all make mistakes and that's what i make mistakes and that's just talk about me that's what i make mistakes i always feel like when i'm in a relationship or if i'm talking to someone that yo he is the one for me we're gonna get married like kids and all that you know mm. a lot of times don't even work out so I'm gonna use um, this Black Radiance uh, Press Powder to go ahead and put on top of my contour. And I'm gonna use the same brush that I contour with. Um, yeah, like this, like, I, I do that a lot, oh my God. And that's why I mess up there. So I get, we all get our hopes up because it's a fresh relationship. And we all hope and pray that this relationship will work and a lot of times it doesn't work but one thing i don't do i don't regret being in a relationship with that person i don't because at the end of the day i learned something from you i learned what i don't want in a man or what i do want in a man so um that you know helps me a lot it helps me a lot a lot a lot, a lot. so don't worry about you know don't worry about it you know if it doesn't work out like yeah you know sometimes we get our hearts broken and then love let's talk about love here i don't even think i know what love is to be honest with you i don't think so i don't think that i know what love really is you know um it's easy for someone to say i love you but don't really know the meaning and i learned that and i'm going to keep it honest with you i learned that um in my my relationship that i just got out of um with my ex and we were together for about almost three years but we knew each other for about five years and um uh what happened and It's, it, we we said that we loved each other and I said that I loved him and everything and um when things got rocky and everything and I started realizing in that relationship like what I was missing and what I lost and what I gained and I lost more than I gained and uh, I lost myself and I realized that I started to do the things that I did not like to do I started to mold my character and mold my personality and mold um uh individual that that wasn't me and uh, i hated that you know and i started to do the things that he liked and i just forgot about me as a person and what i like to do so as of that um i got in a relationship i got out of the relationship and i was happy again I'm um, not saying that I wasn't happy in a relationship, but I knew that I could be more happier than I was if I was just able to just be myself. And it was hard to do that. So, um, yeah. Kick rocks, man. Got out of there. And, um, <laughs> oh, I'm going to use, uh, what is this? Maybelline New York Eye Studio. This is, um, yeah, like a, what is it called? eyeliner whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and just i don't know if i want to do a wing or not let's just try it because you know i don't really do wings because i don't really know how to do it so i'm gonna just be quiet for like a couple minutes so give me one second let me just see So yeah, I lost myself and um, just, you know, it was kind of hard, but, but this is the crazy thing though. Y'all, this is the crazy thing. The crazy thing was, 
I I forgot to do one thing. Um, I got in a relationship, and maybe I, you know, I, of course I shared, you know, a couple tears and everything, like, yeah. But at the same time, I didn't feel bad. Like, I felt relieved. And um, I felt relieved. Uh, you know, it made me think like, well, Indy, you've been in a relationship for a long time, pretty much. And the only feeling that you feel is relief. So I was like, no, that ain't love. You know what I mean? Straight up, that ain't love, India. If you can sit right here and not even cry about it. So that's how it was, like, Alright, I did alright. So yeah, I was like, yo, that's weird, right? That's weird for someone to just be, I don't know, maybe that was just a relief because now I can just, you know, be myself and, you know. Not worried about someone. Just not worried about someone like, you know, bashing me or someone judging me for the things that I say or things that I do, you know. I don't think I deserve nothing like that, so no. Um I lost my favorite lashes. Well, I think they're in my car somewhere, like Comment down below if you like take a lashes off in the car or that you just leave them everywhere. Like that's me. I leave my lashes everywhere. Like, oh snap! I have some right here. But I think these are short or something. So no, we're not gonna. So I am gonna use. I don't even know. I know these part kiss, but they look like this. I don't really like them because they like too old. So these. But I do have um, three packs of these individual ones, and I know how to do these two, but just to save time, I'm going to use this. Um, yeah, I make sure I take off excess glue or extra and old glue. Um, my holy grail with eyelashes. I don't know if it's safe or not, but what's been doing me justice for years, ever since I've been doing um, lashes, well, is regular hair glue. Some say that it's not good, but hey, do whatever works for you. But yeah, I have no problem with that. Like, even to take them off, so say if like they're really stuck on my eye, my eyelashes, I just put water on it and then it comes right off without my lashes being attached. So. Kudos to this. I don't really have big problems with it. But, um, yeah. So, yeah. But like I said, you know, love is scary. And I don't really know what that is yet. Um, I think I have the potential to know. I think I know. Yeah, I have the potential to know what love is. And I'm just scared about it. Yeah. I'm just scared about it, so. Maybe I do know what love is as of right now. Like maybe, you know, I'm in a position where, hmm, I'm questioning like, am I in love? Or am I, you know, maybe. I don't know. Time should tell, we shall see. <laughs> yeah. When I apply my lashes, you guys, I don't know if it's gonna like zoom in. All right, when I apply my lashes, I only apply a little. So you guys can see it. I'm going to just like that and then take it and take it off with like the extra. I'm going to 
sorry, place it in the middle. Like that. Then I'm gonna take one end and then slide it over to the end. And then I'm gonna take the top, the tip, and then place it to the other end. But I am gonna take my um, Last Sensual by Maybelline New York. And I'm going to just apply it under my lashes, on my lashes, because you can see the powder that I put on there. So just to blend it in some. I don't feel like doing all that. And then I'm gonna take, I like my little fake mode, and I'm gonna take, um, this is from Kiss New York, and this is in the color dark brown. I normally have my black, but I don't see it. And I'm just gonna put it right here. Like that. This is a small one. I am gonna do blush though. This is the palette 26. I show this to you guys all the time. It's wet because I just wiped it down. But this is what it looks like. And um I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use this um face brush. It's called Kabuki Face Brush. But I'm just going to use it for my blush. And, uh, oh my god. This, I, I, I can't even show y'all which one I'm going to use. Because I'm going to spill, like, so much. But I'm just going to take, like, a light pink. What is this? Yeah, like a light pink. And I'm just going to put it on my cheek. Like so. Okay. like that but overall like when it comes to relationships and love and everything you know um just don't forget about don't lose yourself you know just don't lose yourself and um like i said i've done that and it kind of messed me up but soon i left out of the relationship i bounced back you know like yeah, and I'm better than what I was, and I know what I want in, re in a relationship. Like, I know the type of person that I want, you know? So that relationship did nothing but build me up. And I don't regret being with that person. I'm still cool with him. Like, I'm still, like, I don't, you know, like, hate him. I don't, none of that, like, you know? He's a good guy. But, you know? just wasn't as good for me as I thought he was but um all I can say is just be true to yourself and be true to your relationship and you know just put you first before you try to put your relationship first and regardless if you think that the relationship um you know you regardless you think that it will go far just always keep in mind that you know it can fail like the relationship can fail and you don't want to think like that of course you always want to think positive but if you still had that in the back of your head I guarantee if, if your relationship do fail you won't be as hurt as you you know you won't be as hurt basically so you you know I don't forgot the saying where you something best but prepare for the worst. Whatever. That one. Yeah. I'm done with my makeup. Like, boom. And I'm a, I always do my lippy after I do, like, put my clothes on. So, let's go ahead and get dressed and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went on ahead and put my dress on. I mean, I'm going to do, like, a full body thing. Um... When I'm done, like fixing my hair up, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lippy. So I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner um, in the color Espresso, and then I'm going to use the NYX um, matte lip gloss in the color Teddy. Teddy. So, uh huh.
And then this is the lip gloss color. It's a matte. And I'm gonna go ahead and just place this all over like that. <laughs> okay, four big twists. And this is like an old, not an old, it's like maybe two, three days of um, a twist out. So I'm just gonna untwist it like that. Untwist it like that. Look crazy. I think this is how I want to wear it today. Good. Yeah. Like I said, this is a three day twist out. I think and it's old. So every night I just twist it. Um, last night I just put some oil in it. Yeah, my baby hairs is a little set already, so I'm not gonna do much with that. And um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of like the roots up, and then let's make it get big. All right, now I'm moving on to my outfit. See you guys in a few. All right, so I'm outside, but um, I don't know if you guys can really see. I'm wearing this dress I got from um, Charlotte Ruse. And sorry for the echo, but dress I got from Charlotte Ruse. And this is what it looks like. Something too simple. Like that, like that. And then um, I'm wearing these I'm gonna take it off and show you. I'm wearing these um guest shoes and I got them from Ross, I believe. Yeah, Ross. But yeah, these are so cute. I love them. And like I said, my dress is from Charlie Roos. And that's it's my outfit, ladies and gentlemen. Um yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this get ready with me and uh, for my hair to my makeup to my outfit um i really really enjoyed doing this video um i probably was random so random talking about topics and all topics sometimes but i don't know i, I just said what's on my mind but i thank you all so much for watching this video and um i hope you learned something and also comment down below your thoughts and your feelings about love about college if you were in college and what are you scared about in college and then just other um you know suggestions that you all want out of my channel and out of me and i just want to say thank you all so much for watching oh but um just you know patient with me um like i said college vlog is coming out and i thank you all so much for watching this video and i catch you all in my next one peace